What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Poco F5 and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you actually update the Evolution X ROM and currently I am using the Evolution X ROM. I'll show you the about section a little bit later but as you can see there is an update and a lot of you guys are confused that how to update. The system updater may be sometimes slow and it may not work sometimes and a lot of you guys have actually asked me in the comments sometimes that how to actually update the ROM and I have tried to explain it multiple times but today I'm just gonna show you how can you update the ROM on the Poco A5 and this will work with any custom ROM. I'm gonna be showing you with the Evolution X ROM today but with this method you can actually update any custom ROM on the Poco A5. So I definitely do not use the system updater at all and as you can see there is a post of the Evolution X update and you can also go to the Evolution XS website and you can just download the latest build from right here by just clicking on this download link and in here I would say it will redirect you to the SourceForge website. Sometimes the SourceForge servers are slow so do not worry about that but make sure you download the ROM after a little bit later whenever the update comes. And let me show you in the Android version section right now if you are noticing the build date that I am on is the 4th September 2023 build. And on this particular build, the camera has been fixed, the Leica camera and stuff. If you want to watch the full review on, of this particular build, you can watch that from the cards right there. Or you can check out the video link from the description as well. And today in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to update the specific builds. And you can just implement this to any ROM. It will work with any other ROM that you're using most probably. And in the system settings right now, if I go into the system update section, as you can see, it shows download and install this particular update. Yes, you can technically use it but I am not gonna be using it because I don't use this updater. Sometimes it's a lot slower. So most of the time it will be not working. So I definitely use the manually flashing method. So for that, what you need to do, you just press on the power button and you tap on the advanced reboot and just directly reboot to the recovery. If you don't know how to install the recovery and how to unlock bootloader and stuff, all those guides will be present in the description as well. Do not worry about that. And I have already downloaded the latest build. So that's why I just rebooted straight to deliberate recovery. And here it will ask for your lock screen pin. Just enter your lock screen pin here. So I have just entered my lock screen pin and right now I'm just gonna click on write and it will decrypt the storage. Of course, the storage is encrypted by default. And this specific version of the TWRP recovery that I'm using will be also linked in the description. And once you have booted into the TWRP, just go to install and then your download folder. Well, this is my download folder. And in here, I have two separate builds. One is the earlier build, this 9.4. That simply means that is the 4th September build on the top. And on the bottom, there is the 8th September build. So I'm gonna be flashing this. No need to wipe anything. If you're just updating guys and you can just go straight into the install and then just go to the download folder wherever you have the files and just select the file and it will show which file is that again just check the build date and this is the again 8th september 2023 build and here on the bottom i have these three things selected the skip digest check and the automatically reflash TWRP after flashing a ROM and reboot after installation so that it automatically reboots to the system after it has flashed the ROM successfully. So right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Now it's just straight rebooting to the system as it has completed the flashing. So we are noticing the lock screen right here. So it has successfully booted the system automatically. Just entered the lock screen pin again and just hit write. Now if you notice the status bar, it will show this particular notification and shows finishing system update. If I go into the settings and in the about section in here, let me just scroll down. As you can see, we have successfully updated this particular build to the 8th September 2023 build. So this is the latest one as of right now. I'll try to review this ROM later on, but yeah, overall the stability of this should be improving with this particular update. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. Please share this video with your friends if they want to know about the updating process of a custom ROM on the Poco F5. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Until next time, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet for the next updates. Bye now.